Hi, I'm Simon Willison, and in this screencast I'm going to show you how to use OpenID. OpenID is a way of signing in to many different sites without creating a separate username and password for each one. Let's create an OpenID now. I'm going to use myopenid.com, one of a number of free OpenID providers. I'm signing up for an account. I set my username, enter my password, pass the capture, and I'm done. My new OpenID is simondemo.myopenid.com. It's not just an OpenID, it's also a URL. I can even go to it with my browser, but there's not a lot to see there. I'm going to use my new OpenID to log into a website. This is Wiki Travel. It's like Wikipedia for travel information. If I go to the sign-in page, there's an option to log in using an OpenID. I'll click the link and enter my OpenID in the box. When I click the button, Wiki Travel looks up my OpenID and discovers that it's managed by myopenid.com. It redirects me to that site. Now I have to log in there, using the account I set up earlier. MyOpenID.com checks if I'm comfortable sharing my identity with Wikitravel. I say, always. Now MyOpenID.com sends me back to Wikitravel, passing along confirmation that I really do own the OpenID SimonDemo.MyOpenID.com. This is the first time I've logged into Wikitravel, so Wikitravel asks me to pick a username there. Now I'm finished. I've logged into Wikitravel without having to set up a brand new username and password just for that one site. I'm going to log out of Wikitravel and then log back in again. Here I am at the login screen. I enter my open ID and click the button. I'm logged in straight away this time. If you were paying close attention, you might have seen my browser redirect me to myopenid.com, but because I was already logged in there, and I'd already said that I always trust Wikitravel, it redirected me straight back with the confirmation. Let's do that again on a different site. This time I'll use my own weblog as an example. There's a link at the top of my weblog saying sign in with OpenID, along with the familiar logo. I click it, and I'm asked to enter my OpenID, simondemo.myopenid.com. Again, I'm redirected to myopenid.com. I don't have to enter my password this time because I'm already logged in from earlier. I'll click Always, and I'm redirected back and logged into that site. As a final example, I'm going to post a comment to a live journal. Posting comments using OpenID is useful as it proves that you really are who you say you are and not an imposter. I'm entering the comment. I enter simondemo.myopenid.com and again I'm asked if I trust LiveJournal with my identity. Yes I do. I'm redirected back and my comment is posted with my OpenID attached. The number of sites you can log into using an OpenID is growing all the time. Sites you can use right now include Technorati, a blog search engine, Zuma, a photo sharing site, Magnolia, a social bookmark site, and of course LiveJournal, as we saw earlier. If you run a site that accepts user logins, you should consider supporting OpenID on it as well. There's one problem with all of this. I'm relying on myopenid.com to manage my identity for me, but what if they disappear? Or what if I decide that I don't trust them anymore? OpenID has an answer to that problem. As I said earlier, myopenid.com is just one of many sites that can manage your identity for you. Others include LiveJournal, Vox, Six Apart's new social network service, Claim ID, and VeriSign's personal identity provider. If you have a LiveJournal account or a Vox account, you already have an open ID. My LiveJournal is swillison.livejournal.com. I'm going to use that to log in to Wikitravel again. This time, it's LiveJournal that asks me if I want to share my identity. I do, and there we go. I've now logged in to Wikitravel using my LiveJournal OpenID. There's nothing wrong with having more than one OpenID, just as you might want more than one username to stop people from combining information about you from multiple sites. We still have a problem, though. If myopenid.com goes away and we've been relying on it, how will we log into sites using our old OpenID? 
If you own your own domain name, you can use it as your open ID. That way, you'll be able to keep the same ID forever, or at least for as long as you pay for your domain. My principal open ID is simply simonwillison.net, a domain that I own. Any domain can be an open ID. All you have to do to enable it is add a couple of invisible lines of HTML to your home page. You can read more about how this works in the links that accompany the screencast. If you're just getting started with OpenID, you can get along just fine using MyOpenID.com, LiveJournal, or one of the other providers. If you found the screencast useful, please create an OpenID for yourself and start using it wherever you can. The more people using them, the more likely it is that sites will start letting you log in with them. Thanks for watching.